Hey pretties, welcome to my first ever YouTube video on Whipped and Pretty TV. I'm so happy and grateful to be able to share this content with you and get my recipes out there. I am on my road to a thousand subscribers and right now I'm at seven. So I would appreciate it if you like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can tune into future recipes. Let's get right into the video. In the beginning, I'm showing that you wanna have your butter at room temperature. This is extremely important so that way your butter can be mixed and incorporated really well with your sugar. If it's really cold and hard, it's going to be hard for the mixer, whether that be a stand mixer or a hand mixer. It's going to be really hard for you to incorporate it and get it really smooth. So if you did forget to take out your butter the night before or a couple hours before, all you have to do is put them in a bowl and just pop them in the microwave for a couple seconds. Make sure that you're not melting the butter. You need it at room temperature. So at this point, I'm showing that I used to use that paddle attachment, but now I use this paddle attachment because it also scrapes the side of the bowl, and I really, really love it. You can find this at Target. Not mine at Target, but I'm pretty sure they probably have it on Amazon or maybe even Walmart. So if you guys need it, just find it. I just found it randomly, and I was super excited about it. So you're going to mix your butter on medium speed for about 5 to 7 to maybe even 10 minutes. You're going to see that it changes in color and in texture it's going to be a lot smoother it's going to double in size and it's going to actually become a little more pale so it's going to be more white and this is me just showing that it's mixing certain points you will see there will be a ring around the top so that's when you stop your mixer lift the paddle attachment up and then you're just going to scrape the sides to make sure that all that butter is getting really mixed in and there's not any clumps and it's really well incorporated then what I'll do is just put the mixer back down and allow it to mix for a little while longer while I am sifting my powdered sugar or confectioner sugar, whatever you'd like to call it. When sifting it, it's really important because if you just add your powdered sugar straight from the bag, you will have clumps or the buttercream can become gritty. So it's really important to mix your powdered sugar. And at this point, you're going to be adding it into your batter on low speed if you see mine is on one or two and I'm adding it in by the cups so I'm slowly adding in my powdered sugar and making sure I do this slowly so that way again all of the powdered sugar can be well incorporated and make that buttercream a nice thick texture that is also spreadable smooth and fluffy so this is really stable for cakes cupcakes um, any cake with filling in it, I've used this recipe for about two years and I've been loving it. A pro tip is to use a wet rag or some sort of cloth to cover the mixer. I didn't for the purpose of this video just to show you that it will make a mess and there will be powdered sugar around the whole surface. So prevent that mess, that's what I would do. Next, you're going to add the best vanilla you can from... ShopRite that I had bought, the McCormick brand is really good, and I just added it in because it's something that I had. What I didn't record is I added two tablespoons of milk, and make sure that the milk is room temperature. This will make your buttercream real smooth, and then you just let it mix for about another five minutes until you see it's doubled in size or tripled in size, and it's really fluffy, and when you taste it, you like how it tastes. If you think it still tastes like butter, Go based off your preference and you can add some more powdered sugar. If you think it needs more vanilla, add it. But this is really great buttercream and it's easy to color, which makes it really versatile. If you'd like this recipe, I will put the link in the description below. And I would really appreciate it if you guys support me by purchasing my recipes. This is one way I really want to get my name out there and be able to share some delicious, unique recipes from Whipped and Pretty. Here I'm just showing you that it can be easily colored. I colored it yellow, so at first I used the white buttercream, put a crumb coat on the cake, and now I'm just smoothing it around the cake, and it's so easy to apply. I love it so much. If you want to put it in the freezer, it will last for up to two months. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share this with all your friends and family. I'm super excited to start this journey with you all, and I hope you tune in to the next video. Thank you so much, and let me know if you guys have any other questions. Leave them in the comments, and I'll be happy to answer them.